Today on Monday's Action Figure Review, we're going to look at the coolest Star Wars vintage action figure there might be. The R2-D2 from the Power of the Force Collection. What's different about this R2 than the other two R2s released? Well, in 1977, part of the first 12, R2 was released as just standard R2-D2, much like you see here. But then, in 1980, R2 got an update where it added sensor scope. But in 1985, with the Power of the Force collection, R2 went through a change again, this time probably adding the most coolest feature, a lightsaber. By just turning the dome, R2's lightsaber pops out of his head. Now it would be a nice little feature if it shot out, but still, this isn't bad. With each click of the head, the lightsaber extends a little more and more from the head. One of the only other flaws with the R2-T2 with lightsaber is by the time you get enough clicks of the head to have the lightsaber where you can actually see a lot of it, the head is almost turned completely backwards. As you can see here, the head is almost turned completely backwards, and the lightsaber is still not fully extended from his dome. Here we can see R2-D2's lightsaber fully erect. But don't misunderstand, this is one of the coolest R2-D2's by far, and probably one of the coolest vintage action figures. In fact, it's the only droid that comes with a lightsaber, or a non-Jedi Sith character to come with a lightsaber. As you can see here, the R2-D2 body is about basically the same as the other two R2s released. The only difference is if you look at the hole on the bottom of the figure, the mechanics are different for the lightsaber R2. But overall, the figure looks basically the same with the same sticker, the same mold used. Now the pop-up lightsaber R2-D2 was first released on the Power of the Force card in 1985, and it crossed over then to the Trial logo card. As you can see here, the action figures held the lightsaber for the R2-D2 and looks very common to the normal released lightsabers in the collection. However, the only difference here is that the tip of the lightsaber is kind of fatter than the rest of the lightsaber, so it will stay inside the R2-D2 better. And that's a look at the R2-D2 with pop-up lightsaber. One of the best Star Wars action figures, I believe, and one I didn't have as a child, but I wished I did. Thank you for watching, and don't forget we'll be back next Monday with another random Star Wars action figure review, and we'll have videos throughout the week. As always, subscribe to the channel, hit thumbs up so I know what kind of content you like the most of, and until then, we'll talk again. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.